Hi there, my name's Mike Pitt. I make videos about business and crypto. The title for today's video is, who's the guy who told everyone to buy Bitcoin in 2013? Okay, let's get straight into the story. The guy I'm referring to is this guy, Da Vinci Jeremy. Da Vinci Jeremy was born on the 15th of September, 1972 in Chile, in Santiago. Not a lot is known of his early life or his parents, that's kept off the internet for some reason. But by 1997, he was working as a systems software architect for a company called Loris Technologies based in Canon. He worked there for a period of 16 years plus, taking him up to 2013. Some other things were happening at the same time so let me just backtrack slightly and talk about those. He created a YouTube channel in 2008 and this YouTube channel is still in existence today you can see it here and on that channel he talked a little bit about his career but mainly about potential areas of investment particularly gold and silver so his YouTube channel was really about gold and silver. In 2011 he stumbled upon Bitcoin, a reference to Bitcoin and he thought it was a, some sort of scam so he decided as a software engineer decided he would re read the source code and then decide oh this is why people are being scammed and when he read the source code he understood that this was going to be financial monetary system did not depend on a third party so person a could send money to person b without the need for an intermediary that intermediary is more traditionally the banks it can be other credit card companies as well but usually it's the banks in the traditional financial system so when he realized that he was an alternative to the traditional financial system he thought there's something to this this proposition this could actually work and that was Bitcoin was based on so he read the original white paper and came to his own conclusion he first started investing in Bitcoin in 2011 at that time the price of Bitcoin was one dollar he posted about it on his YouTube channel as early as, as 2011 and the gold and silver investors who were his audience at that time did not want to know anything about Bitcoin they weren't interested later on they were to change their minds people were to change their minds generally. Uh, in 2013, and this is the reason for this video, in 2013 he posted this video which called upon people to invest just one dollar in Bitcoin and he said that you would probably thank him later for doing that and uh, at the time the price of Bitcoin was 116 US dollars. Also in 2013, Da Vinci Jeremy decided after doing his own sort of research that people should take their Bitcoins invested and their, their funds invested off an exchange called Mount Gox which was the most popularly used exchange for Bitcoin purchases at the time he said take your money off Mount Gox because he didn't think that it was a, a reliable place to store your funds and this was a very good prediction because six months later Mount Gox uh, was hacked and 850,000 Bitcoin were taken and the website had to close down if you haven't seen my video about Mount Gox please click on the reference that you can see on the screen now and watch that video and then come back here so not only did he invest in Bitcoin when it was $1 in 2011. He called upon everybody to invest in Bitcoin in 2013 and he did it in a public place. He did it on YouTube. I wish I'd seen the video in 2013 but I didn't. And then he also called the people to investors to remove their money from, from Mt. Gox in 2013. In 2014 the website crashed and uh, went into uh, liquidation. As I say watch my video that I referred to. So what's happened between 2013 and 2023? The price of Bitcoin, as you can see here, has risen from $116 all the way up to $69,000 in November 2021. That's the high point in the, the bull run of the last cycle. And is now, on the day of recording, it's around $34,000. So if you had invested when he called upon the public to invest, you would have experienced $116 to $69,000 and then down to $34,000. So that's a, a massive profit you would have made over that time. Obviously, you need to have been very calm and kept your money invested. Da Vinci did also recommend that people would should take profits when the times were good. So when during the 2017-2018 cycle, Bitcoin went up to 10,000 and then 18,000 and then went down to sort of two or three thousand from memory. Da Vinci was taking profits at that time, so he took some of his portfolio in and liquidated it into fiat cash. So he didn't miss the opportunity to take profits at that time. Okay, so where is Da Vinci Jeremy now? He now lives a luxurious lifestyle in Dubai 
and his net worth is estimated to be around 100 million at his peak he owned 3,000 bitcoin which in today's prices would be over 102 million dollars i'm not sure how many he owns because obviously that's private information to him but he he has admitted to selling some at particular times and taking profits but he's doing very very well for himself and what i like about this story is that he, he didn't gatekeep he gave this information to everybody he put it on youtube and said look invest in this new technology this store of value and also means of, of money transfer that does not rely on intermediaries no need for banks no need for paypals no need for credit card companies etc and this was a totally new technology and we're all now aware of that and we should have heeded his advice if we'd heard his advice in 2013 and followed him up and we'd all be very rich so here's a story of a guy that tried to tell everybody in 2013 to buy bitcoin not everybody listened let me know your thoughts on da vinci jeremy let me know your thoughts on bitcoin generally in the comment section below thanks for watching all the way through till the next time please check out my socials peace